In 1793, a French doctor discovered something that would slither through medical nightmares. During an autopsy, Jean-Baptiste Collet found an impossible creature nearly six feet long, coiled inside Marie Cugnot's lifeless body like a grotesque living rope. She was a fishmonger, her profession a silent invitation to microscopic invaders. The worm had been feeding, growing, consuming her from within, a parasite so massive it could wrap around a grown man's arm. Its segments pulsed with a horrifying vitality, perfectly preserved inside her cold flesh. Each segment represented years of silent invasion, eating her nutrients, growing in darkness, transforming her body into its own private ecosystem. Collet's hands trembled as he measured the creature. How long had it lived inside her? How many meals had it stolen? How many generations had this tapeworm's descendants survived, passing from fish to human, creating invisible networks of biological horror? The medical community would debate this specimen for years. But in that moment, surrounded by the sterile walls of the autopsy room, Collet understood a terrifying truth. The most dangerous predators are those we cannot see, quietly consuming us from within, leaving no trace until it's too late. <laughs> 